space, style, comfort. What if I told you you could have a technically a chalet of your own as an RV? Opposing slides giving you wide open space in the living area plus enough room to sleep eight. Wait until you see this bunkhouse beauty. Hey, what's up everybody? Chris Young here. I am standing inside one of my all-time favorite lines of campers, the Keystone Outback 340BH. Love the Outbacks because to me, I feel like I'm in a Swiss chalet. You have opposing slides here in the living room, which really opens up this space. But more importantly than that, it gives you the option of having an island kitchen, which is where we're going to start. We're going to kind of go all over the place in this one. But hang with me. If you're looking to sleep seven, eight people comfortably and have room to enjoy each other where you're not on top of each other, this is one you need to hang with me for. Seamless solid surface countertop here on the island kitchen. Got the residential suspension sprayer here, undermounted farmhouse style sink. Got my drying rack right there. And just take a look at the beautiful decor that we have inside of these Outbacks. It looks like you're in like a chalet. This is your chalet. How many times can I say that word before we're done? We're going to find out. Solid wood construction. Got the graphite style or the matte black fixtures all the way around, but just take a look at the beauty and the craftsmanship that went into this. It's on the full extension ball bearing drives, plenty of storage room inside this unit. You're not going to run out of storage or features if you check out the Outbacks because that's what they wanted when they designed them was innovation, creativity, space, uh, and luxury when you hit the road to see America the safest way possible, which is in an RV. Just take a look at the residential style features that we have here with this sconce. I mean, you got the LED light there. It looks like a candle. You got the open and close skylight here if you want to bring in some natural light on a wood inlay. Plus, I got my vent right here behind me. My kitchen, we're going to start right back here on the fridge. Eight cubic foot fridge freezer combo, which runs on both gas and electric. Plus, it has the automatic switch on it. Solid wood construction. Look at the just inlays, the light on the dark features. Keystone heard what people were saying. People wanted more light and dark interiors, but they wanted them to be brighter. So you'll still get the good light and dark combo, but more than that, you're going to get that beautiful brightness that you want. It's welcoming, it's inviting. And with these Outbacks, uh, you know, these are rated from zero to 100 degrees because you got astrofoil, radiant foil barriers all over the place. The insulation in these really do a good job of keeping the heat and the cool where you want it. You got twin ACs on this one, like right up here. We got the 15K BTU AC with the quick cool. Close that. The air goes through the ducts. Got the racetrack style heating system in the floor with those tough lock joints in it to make sure there's no soft spots in the floor. And look at the prep space that I have over here. Solid surface countertops, once again. My storage down below, good space for whatever you need, cooking utensils, foods, you know, the whole nine. Got a little strut supported storage right above my range hood. Three burner cooktop with the LED accent lights on the controls. Glass cover that doubles as a backsplash. Plus I got my 21 inch oven right there. Got the drawer right there for your pots and pans storage or i mean you know really whatever you want look with rvs it's your rv people gig me all the time well this is technically a space for your your forks and your spoons and this is one for the knives and the stirring spoons is it is it really let me tell you what it's for it's for whatever you want to use it for because it's your rv if i want to put my fishing lures in there because this chalet is going to be my fishing cabin that I'm going to set up on my property out by the lake. That's what it's going to be used for. That's the great thing about RVs. Trash can space right there. Come over here to the entertainment portion of the video and you'll see we got this solid countertop. But take a look at the distressed wood, just the accent that we have here, giving it that rustic appearance, that barn slash chalet look, solid wood balance, huge window. Why do we have it closed? Because inside the console, we have a TV because, you know, you know, Iron Man makes campers, too. So why not have it filled with gadgets for entertainment and fun? Just comes right up 
This becomes your entertainment center. You got a little shelf space in front of it. You got shelf space behind it. 50 inch TV on a motorized drive. Got my Jensen command center there with dual zone, Bluetooth, the whole nine. So I can play the music in, I can play it out. I got the large Titan flame LED backlit, multiple flame settings, fireplace. That thing does a great job of just knocking the chill out of the air. Now, if you got people that are sleeping here, you know, and as long as you're not, you know, staying in Antarctica or whatever, this could probably heat the area that they're gonna sleep in without having to run the furnace. Plus that backlight just adds such a great ambiance and air to the area. Barn style door here with the lock from my pantry. Plenty of space in there. Can also double as a ward because you got the hanger in there. Ward, what'd you do to Beaver last night? Over here on the campsite, once again, solid wood and sleeper sofa slash leather couch. Now, this is that chalet thing that I've been talking about. Notice I said it again. We got the fireplace over there, entertainment right there. Look at the space that I have between me and where the entertainment center is. So if people are moving back and forth, if I got the kids, if I got the dogs, or if it's, you know what, you set this up as a couple's cabin, the ladies weekend getaway, the beach trip or the guys trip, you're not going to be inconvenienced, comfortable, plush. If this is for the couple that just wants space and style to reconnect, take a look at the windows. I got air that could come in there, flow, see the beautiful sunsets, the sunrise, the mountains, the beach, the whatever, grandma's driveway. Man, this is where you do the reconnecting. Got my booth dinette right here, which is a dream dinette. What that means is there's no legs down here to kind of block space. So to make this go down, you just you unlatch it and you push it, and this becomes a bed too. But take a look, once again, that distressed wood, giving you that rustic appearance, that rustic feel. Just a good spot. Play the card games, enjoy the meals, do the reconnecting. Because let's face it, when was the last time you got a chance to disconnect from everything and reconnect with the loved ones? Hmm, didn't think so. USB power ports over there. Some of the largest in-class windows you're going to find are inside these, these outbacks. Good natural light, good natural airflow. More pantry storage right here. Solid wood, shaker style cabinets. Got the raised lips, which helps keep things in place. Because when, when you're in transit, stuff's going to be moving around and bouncing around. And when you open it up, you don't want everything falling out on top of you. Just one of those small things Keystone thought about. Now, since this is the 340BH, you have a separate bunk room or entertainment room if you want it. Over here on the campsite, I got my uh, 300 pound capacity bunk right here, which is sitting on top of my entertainment center. Got that teddy bear style mattress right here, that plush, comfortable, with the furry cover. Got the hideaway ladder that's solid, some shelf storage there, more storage here, and over here. Plus, we got some shelves down below. Good spot for shoes, games, balls, whatever you want to put in there. Uh, holes to run because you want to set a TV. You could right there. Be a good spot for a TV. Plus, you got the little areas right there for your components to run the wires for. But this is the this is the thing I want to show you. Now, um, I try to give you the good highlights, but also some of the things that. You know, just to watch out for, if you if, if you would, not really things I would change. So this bunk right here, this single over or twin over twin, um, this is 150 pound max capacity. It's strut supported. So it does go all the way up. And here, once again, you have that fold out sleeper sofa. Also, you know, the leather couch, sit, reconnect, play the card games, get a couple of chairs, a table. You can easily fit a table right there because this is on a slide. Um, but this is the thing to watch out for. You notice how the bunk goes all the way up to the top? It's a little tough to get your fingers in there to pull it back down. Now, having the strut support is nice. Just something to look out for. Large window here in the rear, big giant arch ceilings. Once again, that solid door leading, separating the space. I'm big on the separation of space because when you're out and about, you need that to kind of keep everybody's sanity. Um, so the separation space to me is big curved wall right here, going into our bathroom 
plenty of space in here. Porcelain bowl with the foot flush, seamless countertop. I got the deep well sink with the matte black fixtures there. Large medicine cabinet with those raised lips. Even got myself a little toothbrush shelf down here, or hairbrush shelf, whatever you want to call it. Glass doors leading me into my single surround shower. What those glass doors we have here. Thank you for unlocking it for me there, Bobby. Check it out. So you actually enter on that side because you know you got the bowl right there, so it might be a little restrictive. But you got the matte black fixtures all the way around. Got the large crystal inlay here for my skylight, notch for my soap, my, my soap, whatever. But single surround, I'm not cramped left or right or up or down. I'm over 6'2, so you know you got plenty of headroom. Plus, these outbacks have over 80 inches of height in them, too, and the ceilings are arched. So that gives you a whole lot more room to kind of move around. Boom. And boom. Master command panel leading into the master bedroom. Queen size bed here. And if you'll see, we got the mirrored wards on both sides. The extra bigs. Got storage space right there. Got myself a nightstand here. Plus a drawer. And what is this? What is that? Would you look at it? What is it? What could that be? Chris, what is it? There's a button there. What is that for? What is that for? It's actually just decorative. I just wanted you to kind of hang with me for that one. It's actually just decorative. Um, but look at the space that we have here. You need a CPAP machine. You need reading lights, whatever. You got it. Dual USB charging ports. Plus, it was actually really nice to lay down <laughs> on this bed and I did not want to move. Power ports on both sides, corner notches on both sides. And underneath, strut supported storage and a pet kennel. That's one of the things that uh, Keystone tried to add into all the Outbacks was a spot for the pets for safe travel, safe storage. Uh, got dual ACs on this one too. So you got a 13.5 BTU air conditioner here, large windows on both sides, giving you great options for light and airflow. Plus, TV mounting bracket right here and my key TV connection. Key TV is something Keystone came up with to just kind of combine all your multi-source connections so that you're not chasing cables left and right. All right. So the 2021 Keystone Outback 340BH. I love to call the Outback chalets because of how they look, how beautiful they are inside and out, which is where we're going to head right now. We've seen the inside of this all new 2021 beautiful Keystone Outback 340B8. Let's check out the outside. Going to start right up front with the leveling system. Yes, this does come with automatic leveling. You just cut that on, you go through the prompts, pretty much one button push to auto level. Plus you have the power tongue jack here, twin 30 pound LP tanks. Got the rough, love this rugged appearance here on the bottom, but take a look at the beautiful profile, that painted fiberglass end cap with the running lights, the aggressive profile to help with the wind resistance when you're going down the road. Got the drop frame here. Just take a look at what that does for the pass through storage. Not only is it finished off in here, but take a look at the space that I have. Got my battery disconnect right there as well. So easy access for that. Magnetic anti-slam on the doors plus even the hinges are sealed what does that do when these are covered that means that the, the rain the elements the whole nine it's not going to give you the rusted streaks that you'll see going down i'd mentioned the key tv connections on the inside there you go power ports there this is set up so that if you want to bring an outside television you absolutely could our bal up front allows us to have the automatic leveling you see right there heated and closed underbelly 20 foot awning with the LED floodlights on both sides. Plus I got my solid step up steps here with the extra large grab handle, doubles as a door guard. Love the dual zone speakers too, because when you're playing the music inside, you wanna have it outside too, but you can play different things if you want to. This is our living room slide, which we have opposing slides in this one. Now, even with all that space, the opposing slides, you're still looking at just over 39 feet and just over 8,700 pounds in dry weight. Still a great size, great weight for this camper. 15 inch aluminum rims there on the wheels. We got the Dexter Easy Lube axles. But my favorite part, right above my LP Quick Connect, just in case you want to bring your own grill, absolutely. 
but this one comes with a big, beautiful outside kitchen. I got the strut supported door right here for the outside. Got my extra large fridge, AKA the dorm style fridge. I like to call them plenty of space for the drinks, the fish, whatever. Even have that solid wood cabinetry on the outside. Got my little access panel right there, but take a look, full extension on the ball bearing drive, solid wood construction, metal prep top here, more space and storage up top, single basin sink with that graphite style fixture and key TV connection and power port. Sorry there, Bobby. Didn't mean to hit you, buddy. And when it's time to do the grilling, got the Suburban two burner right here, or you got the LP quick connect underneath so you can plug in your grill and just pull off those twin 30 pound LP tanks from up front. When everything is done there, push that away. You got the awning right there. So people can sit out under the awning, enjoy the burgers, enjoy the dogs, the fish, the veggies, whatever you're cooking. Four by four sewer hose storage on the back. Got my key TV access panel right here. This is where you plug everything in, which will run it all the way through the camper. Got my 50 amp plug right there. Solid mounted ladder going all the way over the top. Just giving us a little bit of that extra security when getting up and doing the roof maintenance. Plus this one is set up for backup camera. Just let our specialists, our RV techs help you with that. Got the arch ceilings to help keep the rain and the elements off this camper. Come around over here to the off camp side. And underneath, You'll see right there, there's one of my terminations. That's one of your gray tanks right there. Easily accessed, got the handle right there. Got the bunk room slide here, the off camp side slide right here. Plenty, I mean, I just love how having those opposing slides just really open up the space and make this almost like your apartment on wheels, your home on wheels. My other terminations right here, my gray and my black tanks, You'll see the handles there, the termination there. My water docking station, city water connection, got the black tank flush, outside shower if you need it, spray port if you will. If you got the 10 amp panels for solar, got your quick connect plug right here. And the other side of my pass through storage right here, finished off beautiful. And the magnetic anti-slam, love it. But the most important thing with any camper that you're going to find that you need to look for is going to be this info panel right here. For example, unloaded vehicle weight on this one, 8,700 pounds, gross vehicle weight, 10,500 pounds. That's where you ask your specialist at Camping World and Gander, hey, what does that mean? Here's what my vehicle can tow. Is this right for me? They'll help walk you through and make sure you get the one that's right for you. But if you're a family, that wants those opposing slides in the living room, opening up that kitchen space, giving you the island, plus a bunk room, 8,700 pounds, can sleep eight comfortably with all the amenities of home. Check out the all new 2021 Keystone Outback 340BH. Nothing wrong with this one. I love these right here, but leave me a comment down below. And let me know what'd you like about it? What'd you not like about it? Because I love getting the comments back from you and I love getting your opinions. We send that right to the manufacturer and that's what helps them make the campers for you. I'm Chris Young from Camping World and Gander. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. Hope we get a chance to see you very soon, but until then, please come check out a camper, especially one of these, because they're fun. I'll see you.